gate. Um, so Beyond the Gate made it to the Hollywood News's pick of what to watch. We really loved it. How on, how on earth did you come up with the idea? You know, it, uh, it was partially my co-writer, Steven Scarlatta. He pitched me this idea about a VCR board game that oh, leads to another dimension. And uh, I'd long wanted to do something in the vein of, you know, films like The Gate and Phantasm, where there's sort of a, you know, a family dynamic in the center of it. And it's, you know, rooted in some adventure and horror and various other things. But, you know, was, Steve had the idea of a VCR board game, which I just thought was a totally brilliant engine for a film like this that I, I can't believe no one had done at this point so that was uh, that was the main genesis of it and are you a big gamer uh, I'm actually more into Nintendo games from the the 80s and 90s that's that's my sort of uh, my my main wheelhouse I guess but uh, Steve my co-writer was very into VCR board games growing up and I've never it, you know I I've, I started studying them once we were writing this but I hadn't you know really been exposed to them outside of that I knew what they were but I hadn't really delved into it until we started writing it so and you got Barbara Crampton on board how how did you manage to get one of the greatest screen queens of the 80s and 90s to be in your film uh, I, I became friends with her and had a, a very long plot over the course of uh, five or six years to eventually get her in a, a film, which, you know, ended up working out in my favor. But, uh, you know, basically I, I became friends with her first and then, you know, when the time came to film this, I asked her to be a producer and then she ended up coming on and taking the, the role of Evelyn, who's the main antagonist in the movie, and it's a, a pretty different role from what you're used to seeing her in. And you're now part of the LA horror director's circle. I mean, you've got Amanda Mortimer producing the film. She did some kind of hate last year and a few others. Um, how is that being part of that community? Because I don't think there's really been that sort of thing before in the horror world. You know, I, I think it's quite interesting. It's everyone involved in it is doing very different work, but you know, they're all they're all supportive. And ultimately, when it comes down to it, everyone's going to each other's screenings and they're there for one another. You know, it's like we may not. Uh, I don't think everyone goes and like tools around with each other, you know, on a, a, a every Friday night or what have you. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, we're all in the same boat, and I, I think we're, you know, we can all count on one another. And have you caught any films at Fright Fest? Is there anything you're looking forward to? Uh, the, the three I've caught so far are They Call Me G Robot, which is absolutely brilliant, and I caught Pet, which I liked quite a bit, and I saw Devil's Candy last night, which I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, what's that? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. And then I'm, I'm really looking forward to Bad Blood, which uh, plays tomorrow, and another one called Director's Cut, which Adam Rifkin directed, which is on Monday. So They all made my top picks, so you've, you've got some good picks. Um, thank you for taking the time to talk to me, and best of luck with the film. Thank you, Kat. Great meeting you.